We have an alert going out in Louisiana, and really what they're trying to say with this, you have to pay attention to what's going on with you and your family. Because to me, it really makes no sense to say that 97% of the people that get infected by this parasite are dying and that it's contaminated all of the water in Louisiana. They're talking the bayous. They're talking drinking water has been affected, pools, water, uh, water used for showers and bathing. But then they turn around and say, guess what? It's perfectly safe to drink. It's just not safe to get it up your nose. This is what they're saying. They're saying that the infection occurs when the water containing this amoeba enters the body through the nose and travels to the brain where it starts to destroy tissue. Now, there was a boy that contracted this a few years back and that died from it. They're saying that he got it from a slip and slide in his backyard. So what they're saying is this is resurfaced. Uh, this is, I think, the third time since 2015 where this has all been found in the same district. So even though they say, they start this off saying the Louisiana water system, it looks like they're focusing on one district. And with the Samobia anywhere around, if you're the next town over, I still would not be trusting things until the water gets tested and it's proven that this parasite is not in there. This is very real. It could affect a lot of people. And people not even knowing what's going on. It's pretty sad here in this country that we have to deal with these things and these issues. And of course, there's things like this to happen every day all around the globe. But it just seems that we could work to prevent some of these things with having a water system and an infrastructure that is actually redone in this country since it's decades old and rotting and aging. And it's all going to fall apart at some point. There has to be a plan to step in and start to redo some of the stuff, like up in Illinois and in areas up there, there is a leaching problem where the copper pipes or the copper pipes they used decades ago, which are not safe to use, are leaching different carcinogens into the water, and they admit this, but they're like, we're not going to pay for it. The people are going to have to pay for it per home. If you want your house and your piping redone, then, then you're going to have to pay for it. The issue is this, though. Even if they redo their piping, all the other hundreds of miles of piping carrying the water to their house is contaminated. So this is a huge issue across the country, and I hear it all the time from people saying that their water is discolored, tastes funny, smells funny, this and that. It's something that we really have got to get on top of here in this country. But uh, this is some of the latest. I'm going to leave a link. I'll continue to update as things change. Make sure to tune in to Underground World News Live Friday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, Dabu 77. Hope to see you guys there.